Hello everyone, this is Andrea Bailey Brown from Bailey Brown Business Consulting and I am back with our series for the summer called the Summer of Profit. I hope your summer has been off to a great start and I'm really excited about today's topic and it's called the Profit Creator Mindset. So we know that mindset really matters for a lot of things and I believe life overall is constantly about mindset so no matter what we say or what we do or how we live it's all comes down to the kind of mindset that we actually have so once you decide to get started in your business I think that the, I believe actually the main thing is that you are there to serve and to help and then in the end you also have to have a plan for your profit and to develop that mindset of creating a really good profit for your business so once you figured out your service who you're going to help what your niche is you also need to figure out how to create a profit in that business so that you can actually serve more people and with the more money that you can make then the more people you can actually help and as i believe give back into your community now the first thing is it's your products do you believe in the actual products that you are actually selling because that's how you're going to be able to create your profit and then that will help you to feel more confident about the process and in in the meantime your mindset will also become stronger as you're starting to see some results from some of the the products and the offerings that you're giving out there and people are are responding are starting to respond to you on them I also think you should begin once you've sorted out your product, your industry, your niche, then you have to begin with the profit in mind. Become very intentional about running a business that is going to create a profit for you. Because if you're just doing it and you're doing it because you love it, that's great. You're doing it to get you to the house. All of those things, the business can quickly become a hobby if you're not planning for it to be a very profitable business so that's the difference I see with some entrepreneurs who make it in their business were able to really generate a massive outcome from it I believe that they are truly intentional between running a business versus running a hobby the next thing in creating that mindset is do you have a mantra that you live by this really matters. There are people that live with a gratitude mindset. They're thankful for what they're doing. They're happy about giving back. And a mantra can be something such as, I believe the universe is conspiring for me. I believe the universe is working in my favor. Or some people have, if it's going to be, it's up to me. Or I believe it is possible. All of those positivity helps you along the way because along the journey it is going to get tough it does get very difficult but you have to make sure that you really have something that you can fall back on and in some way um, in terms of your mantra it could be do you have people that you can talk to that will lift you up when you know that you're not feeling your best in in the meantime so surrounding yourself with the right people will also help you develop that positive mindset and a profit creator mindset uh, in order for you to get there now what is um your belief system so that also goes in with the mantra do you believe that business is hard business is tough you won't make it because if you do believe that then that those are some of the results that you will actually see so making sure that you're in the process of working on your business you're also working on your daily mindset and how you are setting yourself up for success now mixing with a positive mindset of course I believe that number one Another factor is making sure that there's action because you have to be working on your business as well, creating action because action leads to clarity and it gives you more proof of concept. So only having, being positive and saying the right mantra but not doing the work, that doesn't work either. So we have to make sure that we're combining all of those together. Now, how the big thing that I've seen in terms of creating profit is answering the question as to how big do you actually want to grow your business. And I've seen where some people, they really don't even know. They didn't even know it was possible. They're just taking whatever their business gives them. And I really believe in what's called intentional profit, where you really have to go into it 
looking at the business you want to have, how many employees do you want to have, how big you want to grow it, and all of those things we can become truly intentional about. So those are some of the things I would encourage you to do to create a to develop the profit creator mindset. And I look forward to coming back here again tomorrow to build up on the Summer of Profit series, and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.